What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials. Check out the new improved site. Get yourself your premium membership. It's 50 cents a day. And also, please don't forget to stop by CMPKids.com. Check out the Soul of Tick sample pack. Great for drill music. Trap Chords for Scalar Volume 3. Um, get yourself the Industry Slap Drum Kit. All the best sounds from the actual songs on your favorite playlists. Um, hit me up on IG if you need to ask me a quick question. If you just want to tap in, if you have a problem with any of the services that I provide, or you want to give me some sauce, all right? Now, uh, today we're going to be going in to, um, to Studio One. We're going to be using Sample One. We're going to be using my half note chop technique with some uh, samples without drums. And this is really good for making drill music and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do right off bat is we're going to go into Studio One. I'm going to set up my track that I use to um, record system audio. And I'm just going to go ahead and press record and capture some of this sample. All right, that's going to be pretty much all we need. We go back into Studio One now. And what I'm looking for when I look at this wave is I'm looking for, um, you know, obviously there's no drums, but you could kind of see some transients here. So what I'm going to do is this looks like where some more instruments come in. It's the beginning of a new phrase, a new musical phrase, that is. And I'm just going to um, take, my, um, take my cursor and shorten this up knowing that I can go back to the rest of the sample, right? Because this isn't a destructive process. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a loop within within this piece of audio. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, so it looks like right here we're starting we're starting a new um, a new phrase like almost like almost like a new bar if you will so if we go into this I want to you know I want to set the tempo so that uh, so that this becomes a loop right and we'll, we'll just shave it down to right there I want to make this so that this becomes a loop and uh, since we're working in double time we're at 140 um, this would this would uh, go to um, to uh to this ninth bar right that's that that's where we would have um this sample loop if this was a perfect loop right so if i go into my tempo and i just click and drag on the tempo and drag it up and drag it to the point where it where it loops right and it, it doesn't have to be perfect it could be a little off but say right about there 160 if i take and right click on this and i set this sample to 160 now now when i set my tempo back to back to a drill tempo like 141 you'll see that that loop stays stays constant right we're time stretching it and also when you do this set your set your time stretch to elastic pro format don't use the drum algorithm 
a lot of people don't know that there's different time stretch algorithms here. Um, so now that I have this, I can set this back up to this the seventeenth bar mark, and I can take and say, all right, now that now that I have this set up, we can set this to be a half bar, right? And I'll use my I have to do something about that. Uh, I use my split a grid key command. Okay. And then I'm going to use my shift command X. Shift command X. Auto fades. Shift option X is my key command for auto fades. So this way, now that I use the auto fades, I don't, when I send this to sample one, I'm not going to have clicking and popping. All right, now we can go ahead and send this to new sample one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these samples, highlight them, right? Make sure that I follow song tempo. Um, and I'm going to take this track, mute it, because we don't need that anymore. And we will set this up to... Let's pitch it up three semitones. We'll get that get that going at E minor, right? I'm using I'm gonna use some MIDI from uh, Drill MIDI two available on CMPKits.com. We'll go ahead and we'll and we'll make this we'll make this 808 root note um, E minor so it matches so it matches the uh, the track. And now, um, before we get started. This will be a lot easier with drums, right? If I take and go to go to my drum folder and I want to use I want to use industry slap. This is the new drum kit on cmpkits.com. All the sounds from your favorite songs. I'm gonna go ahead and use the drill bass, right? Make this super simple for you guys. The drill bass for the kick, I'm gonna use uh let's use the fat drill kick, right? It's a nice Nice clip sample for you. For the snare, let's use, let's use the drill snare so we're not confused. For the B snare, let's go ahead and use the polo snare. And for the hi hat, let's use drill hi hat. All right, and this is this is the fastest way. This is the fastest way to get your stuff sounding like actual drill music. All right, so now that I have now that I have this here, we can go ahead and just duplicate this out. Turn on sample one. I'm going to put a pro EQ. Set this up. Let's just You already hear it. You already hear it. You know what's about to happen. Let's go. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean just, just that simple, right? Just that simple. So I'm going to go ahead and use the retrospective record feature and double click here. and just quantize everything. I think this sounds good here. And now, now that we have this, and remember guys, I didn't like, I didn't go crazy, do a whole bunch of, do a whole bunch of warp markers, making sure that everything was super on beat or nothing like that. You know, I didn't, I didn't even like put in decimals to try to, you know, to try to make this, you know, crazy or nothing like that. It's just a really simple process. So now that, so now that I have, uh, this, this, uh, um, this phrase here,
All right, so now we can take um, we can take and duplicate this out. And working like this is really simple to make variations. So now I can take and say, okay, I want to make a different a different part of the a different part of the beat, maybe like a pre-chorus or something. <laughs> As you can see, the combination, <laughs> the combination of Drill MIDI 2, uh, the Industry Slap drum kit, and this very simple sampling technique, recording your system audio, you know, using using a site like Tracklib that has that has a system set up where it's orig where it's not where it's it's actual samples from records. You know, I mean, you can go and use these samples. It's gonna be it's gonna be at a higher quality than you know anything that you can get from something like Splice. Um, you know, you could go and get one of these samples and really lock into that, you know, that New York Brooklyn drill sound, because uh, this is exactly what they're doing. And you don't have to worry about it. Like once this record gets placed, you know, you know where that is, you know where the terms are, you know, and you can, you know, you can go ahead and it's really easy for the label to clear this stuff. Right. So this is like the greatest time to be a sample based producer. All right. So it's a CMP. With Craftmaster Productions. Studio1tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple, but don't be basic. And we will see you on the next one.